Hey guys, welcome back to our advanced microeconomics series where I go through all the nitty gritty details of Monopoly. In this video, we're going to talk about evaluating the welfare of market agents under Monopoly. Let's go. When evaluating the welfare of all the agents in a specific market, we require a structural framework where we can compare the welfare of firms and consumers. We can do this by the use of a social welfare function given by WX, which is the welfare uh, in the market. Uh, for good X is equal to the utility from the consumption of good X minus the cost required for good X or an equivalent surplus form. We have our welfare in that market is equal to the sum of the consumer surplus and the producer surplus. This function is useful not only because of the way it calculates welfare, but also it is a tool by which we can determine what are the welfare maximizing prices and quantities in a given market. So when discussing the welfare of a market, we often want to know how an increase in output will be associated with welfare. Consider the case where our representative consumers' preferences are represented by a quasi-linear utility function. This is actually more common than you think when we're talking about aggregating consumer preferences. We know that our consumers' inverse demand function will follow this form, which that is our marginal utility from consumption of good X is equal to the price. We know that the profit maximizing condition is where our marginal cost is equal to the price also. This implies that the socially optimal level of output is from this equality where our marginal utility is equal to our marginal cost and we can go and set either of those equal to price. This result can be found from the first order condition of our welfare function as well, which is you know taking the derivative of our welfare function with respect to X. So let's talk about evaluating welfare in a monopolistic market. So to evaluate this welfare, recall the profit maximization condition, right? This is where our marginal revenue is equal to our marginal cost. And for the monopolist, we end up having the price of good X, right? Which is our inverse demand function plus the derivative of our inverse demand function times good X is equal to the marginal cost, right? Which is uh, the derivative of our cost function with respect to uh, output X. And rearranging this equation and recalling the fact that u prime is equal to p also, we go and we get the following, where this, with a little bit of rearranging, we can go and identify that this is the same thing as taking the derivative of our welfare function with respect to x, and we go and we see that the effect is going to be positive. So why is this the case, right? Because, you know, we see a little bit of a negative sign out in the front of this uh, utility function for the second derivative. This is because our utility function is concave, meaning that the second derivative will be negative. And we can infer that an increase in quantity from this property produces an increase in social welfare. So we can also calculate the social welfare with reference to our surplus equation, right? Where CS is consumer surplus and PS is producer surplus. I think it should be intuitive why uh, the equation that we saw before is equivalent to this one here. If we were to take the first order condition of this equation and note that our marginal cost is equal to our marginal revenue for our uh, monopolist when it's producing at its optimal value and subbing in that value, which is the price of good X plus P prime times X. And with a little bit of algebra, we go and we find that the overall effect is going to be positive. So we find the same result overall. Um, and I hope this video helps in terms of not only uh, understanding uh, welfare changes in a market, but also understanding how exactly we can really derive welfare maximizing prices in such a market. So take care.